Matthew chapter number 24, verses number 15 and 16. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand, then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. As we stated before, the abomination that maketh desolation stand in the holy place most likely is a repeat of Antiochus Epiphany that will be done by Antichrist of putting a false statue in the temple, the third temple to be built. And as we stated in the last video, the book of Revelation does support an image that will be used to cause people to worship. Now, Christ gives us a little more detail in our, our story. Christ goes on to say, now when you see this, he says to flee into the mountains. This is the exact thing that happened with the Maccabee brothers, with the story of Hanukkah, of where the forces of Antiochus Epiphanes came to force the Jews to offer incense to their false gods. And Mathanias, the father of Judah and the rest of the Maccabee brothers, how they refused and actually killed the person that was trying to force them to do this. And then guess what? They fled into the mountains, which started the famed Maccabee revolt. This is accounted for how this small band of guerrilla fighters fought off and defeated the Seleucid Empire and regained control of Jerusalem. But Christ gives us a much different span this time. Christ is not telling us to take part in an armed revolt because an armed revolt against Antichrist will mean destruction. Whereas before the Maccabee brothers did succeed, that was for that time frame. That will not be for the time Antichrist will take over. This particular period of time, the scriptures are crystal clear for three years and six months, 36 months plus six or 42 months in total, he will work havoc among the earth and Christ is telling us since he knows this don't lead an armed revolution get out of the way history repeats itself but this is why you have to know the scriptures because you can avoid things and this is what Christ is trying to tell us and he's going to go into more detail in our next verse God we bless your name we worship you and we give you glory honor and praise thank God